afternoon. Thank you for your attention. Um, some of the pictures you just saw may be quite shocking, and indeed they are. Um, these are actually accidents that really did happen. At Costa Renewables, we firmly believe that we should apply lessons learned in order not to make the mistakes and to repeat the mistakes of the past, but to learn from these and to avoid them in the future. Costa Renewables is a global consulting and brokering company. We have a very dedicated team of professionals with a combined experience of more than half a century. Our mission is to unburden, as we've also tried to demonstrate in the movie, or at least try to get the feeling of the emotion across. There is quite a lot of things that can happen in a project, things that can go wrong. We are there to support you, we are there to help you, we are there to unburden you. Therefore, our mission, we unburden. Some of the things that we do, um, brokering, being uh, a mediator between investors and project developers, bringing them together, getting the project financed. We can also support the project itself, from business plan verification, risk assessments, due diligence, technical support, and we can also provide, amongst others, risk management services. As I mentioned before, we have a dedicated team of professionals. Um, we are located globally, seven offices globally. We have a very extensive experience in the entire chain of a project realization from design to construction to actual OM phase, operations and maintenance phase. Our executive team, I'll not show those workshops too long. Our company competencies, we have a, as I said, a global presence. At this moment, seven offices worldwide. We have a very no-nonsense, efficient work approach. We tell it like this. We don't want to make it any nicer than it is. We don't want to make it any worse than it is. We just tell it as it is. We tell you what you should know, and that is not necessarily always what you want to know. But no-nonsense is our motto. There are a few projects that I would like to emphasize uh, in particular. One of them is the risk register. This is an actual tool that we could make available on the internet for companies who would like to subscribe to it. This is the database in which we have actually placed all the lessons learned of some 15 years of experience in the wind energy throughout the entire project, from the early conception to the entire O&M phase. Um, it basically is set up like a uh, traveling agency internet site. You just click on the various possibilities what you want. Do you want to have onshore? Do you want to have offshore? When you click on offshore, you can click further to precise uh, what your desires are. Some examples that you could need offshore is marine equipment, which is a very considerable risk. Um, a lot of the installations that you create offshore require quite heavy vessels, very large marine equipment. This marine equipment can cost $100,000 to $200,000 per day. If you can save modernization time by really controlling the risks involved with marine equipment, and you can save one, two, perhaps even more days, you can actually save a lot of money. Simple things can go wrong on a vessel. Simple things can go cause a vessel to break down and to come inside in port for repairs. And if that happens on workable days, you lose workable days. And Murphy's Law will always apply. So probably when your vessel is finally repaired and you're ready to sail out, the weather is not workable. 
which brings us to the second risk. Wind farms, especially, we tend to build them on places where there's lots of wind. That means that there's also lots of weather restrictions for actually accessing the wind farm for work or doing lifting operations and such like that. These are risks that you really want to control and make sure that you're on top of them in order not to lose unnecessary money. Um, Another product that I would like to bring on your attention, which is very interesting for Japan, is a new revolutionary enabling technology. It's called UNFLOP, which is an abbreviation for unsinkable, unaffected by waves floating truss platforms. It works by dissipating the energy of the waves and creating a very stable platform that way. And this can give you a multitude of possibilities. You can use it with, in combination with floating paddle wheel turbines. You can use it in combination with wind energy. Because it creates a very stable platform, as you are probably aware, the current solutions are both very expensive and still not really working. There's an example here in one of your own test farms in Japan of a floating turbine with a foundation that costed 30 million dollars and it's still not really the stable solution that you would like. Unflop can change all these things. It can really provide you that solution. And for the same reason that it's a very stable platform, namely the dissipation of the wave's energy, you can actually use it as coastal protection as well. So depending on your intentions, you can have it as a primary role as coastal protection, and then as a bonus, you can add your uh, renewable energy resources on it, whether that is wind, whether that is solar, whether that is ocean thermal energy converters. You can also put it the other way around. Your primary role can, or a, can be a renewable project, but then your selling point towards the authorities and towards any persons who might want to make a problem out of it in the permitting phase, uh, you can actually sell it as a coastal protection and make it interesting also to additional partners to use it, um, creating a more uh, widespread support amongst public and amongst other stakeholders to actually get the project realized. Um, if you would like to have more information about our risk management tool, the risk register, or these uh, concept for uh, unsinkable, unaffected by waves, um, floating trust platforms, you are more than welcome to uh, visit us at our booth. We are right outside the first booth on the left. And I want to thank you very much for your attention. And, uh, we would like to see you uh, in future. Thank you very much.